to uh, deliver art business tips in these videos. Uh, if you're on our mailing list, you're getting these in your inbox. If you're on our YouTube, you can follow us there. We'll be delivering these tips, which are gonna be pretty short, but hopefully things that you can take and right after the video, you can actually go and put them into action. So these aren't, yeah, they're not like big, vague, sort of like you should make more art, but they're gonna be actionable. Yeah, short, so, to, the, to the point, easy stuff. Yeah, so the first tip, is about building a client list. Clients are important for your business. Are they too? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there's lots of ways to find clients. And you can go and you can buy a list of clients, but those usually don't get you a lot of conversion because you're buying a big list. It's hard to research you know, thousands of people if you're buying off of somewhere. Or... It also encourages artists to just blanket you know, yeah. with postcards, which are a lot of money, or, you know, just send out mass emails. And that's not really what gets you a good client base. What gets you a good client base is targeted research. You should be making a list of what your dream clients are and really researching and hitting those gaps. So how do you know who your dream client right. is? Right. Like, how, how do you know who that is? I mean, you might have always been reading about a certain publisher or a certain magazine or a certain card game, and that's all great. But you can't pay your bills with one client, so you need more. We're gonna teach you how to reverse engineer this with a technique that we call benevolent stalking. Very benevolent. Like, it's like stalking light. Stalking light. <laughs> <laughs> so here's how it works, and it's really simple. You go and you look out on the internet, you can do this right now, find artists who you like, and find artists specifically who you think maybe look a little bit like you, or whose work you think you could do, or artists who are solving the same kinds of problems that you want to solve. I call this career stalking. You know, you, you pick an artist that, you know, generally stylistically is kind of in the ballpark that you're in, but also if, if you want to work in editorial, they're working in editorial, things like that. You're thinking about not just the style, but the subject matter and also, you know, the, the genre of media that they're working in. Exactly. And here's what you do. You go to their website, you go to their Twitter, you go to their Instagram, and you see what they're talking about because they're talking about their clients. In fact, most of them probably have a client list on their website. You go there and there's the start of your list. The best thing about this list is that it is super targeted. It's not a whole list of people who are kind of working in generally the same kind of place that you wanna work, but they hire work that you know you can solve, the, the work that you can do. The real key here is that you wanna make a client list that plays to your strengths. So you wanna take your strengths and you want to look around and find the clients whose needs match those strengths. Exactly. So once you have that list, you got to go talk to them. And in our next tip, we're going to talk about how to use the information that you've gathered because you've gathered more than just a client list here, but we're going to talk about that in the next tip. The information that you've got here, you can take and actually convert into potential work. For now, what your job is, is to take that client list and start following their social media, start doing research on their website, you know, get a feel for the tone, get a feel for what kind of art they're using, get a feel for what their problems might be, what kind of articles, if they're a magazine, what kind of, you know, books that they're doing, that kind of stuff, and start researching those clients. And again, this should be a short list. This should be like 20 people max. This shouldn't exactly. be hundreds of people, so it shouldn't be exhausting. You're really targeting, like laser focus. Exactly. So that's your first tip. Your next task, if you don't mind, is to look down there and leave us a comment. Let us know how you plan on using your list, how you plan on reaching out, and ask us questions. We have lots more tips that we're gonna share, but we also wanna make sure that we're getting you the information that you actually need. So if you can ask us questions, leave comments, maybe share some stuff around. Yeah, tell us what the next art tip you wanna hear is. Yeah, and that is? That is that. We are drawn and drafted. <laughs>